is one. He is the creator of everything. God reveals himself to us through creation and the words and lives of his prophets. Through creation, we see that he is powerful, creative, and wise. The prophets told us more about God and his way. They told us that God is good, he is merciful and compassionate, perfect and just, loving and giving. Every good thing in your life is a gift from God. Since there is one God and he is good, we must find and follow his way. Because God is loving and giving, he wanted a close relationship with creatures who could choose to love him. So he created Adam and Eve, gave them the gift of choice, and put them in paradise. Adam and Eve chose to disobey God by eating forbidding fruit. For this one act of disobedience, they were judged, punished, and sent out of paradise. People were created for paradise. We are not truly happy on earth because it is filled with problems and evil. God wants us in paradise with him, but he judged and punished Adam, so he will judge and punish us. By the time of Noah, people were choosing wrong continuously. This made God sad and angry. He judged the world and decided to destroy it by a flood. But Noah listened to God's voice and went God's way. God told him to make a boat on dry land. Although people mocked him, he obeyed. Only the ones who believed God and followed his way onto the boat were saved. The others died in the flood. Although people may mock us to skip judgment, we must follow God's way. Prophet Abraham was called the friend of God. He was so submitted to God that when God asked him to sacrifice his son, he was willing to do so. But just as Abraham was about to put the knife into his son, God sent a substitute, a lamb, and ransomed him with a tremendous sacrifice. This is what is celebrated at Eid al-Adha. Although God may ask for a sacrifice, he provides a substitute. God gave Moses the Ten Commandments and many other laws for the Jews. He promised to bless the Jews if they obeyed them. This agreement is called the Old Covenant but the laws were so complicated that they could not be kept perfectly. The Jews knew that because of God's justice, they would be judged like Adam was judged. But as with Abraham and his son, God in his mercy made a way for them. The old covenant included blood sacrifices for sin. They show that sin merits death. Old Covenant ends. Moses warned the Jews that they must never leave God to follow other gods. They would break their covenant. They would be attacked and sent as slaves to other countries. Years later, the Jews turned to idol worship and this was fulfilled. While the Jews were captives in Babylon, God sent other prophets 
with hopeful prophecies, they spoke of a new covenant which could be for all people. There would be a new covenant with a final sacrifice, the Lamb of God. Prophets promise a Savior. Why is Prophet Jesus different than all the other prophets? Why is he the only one called the Word of God, and by some the Spirit of God? Why is he the virgin-born, sinless one who will judge the world? The sacrificial animal had to be perfect. Jesus is the ultimate pure sacrifice, the Lamb of God. Prophet Isaiah predicted that this final sacrifice would be God himself. He would be born on earth and called Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. God's word is preserved. The prophet Isaiah also prophesied that it was the Lord's will that Messiah be a guilt offering, justify many, and bear their iniquities. The Christians did not make up or add these words to the Bible. They were originally written 600 years before Jesus was born and were preserved in the Dead Sea Scrolls. The scrolls were sealed in a cave in Palestine before Jesus' birth until they were rediscovered in the 20th century. God preserves His Word. Why blood sacrifice? Understanding God's character explains His actions and His way. His attributes are balanced. His justice equals his mercy and strength. God's mercy presses him to find the way to forgive us and restore us to relationship with him. His mercy is great but cannot overpower his justice. He cannot just forgive and forget. God's character requires justice, death for sin, how can he be both merciful and just at the same time? By providing a substitute sacrifice. What is the proof? He showed us this way with his prophets, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and the Jews made blood sacrifices. Prophet Yahya, John the Baptist, recognized Jesus as the final sacrifice the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Why would God become a man and die as a sacrifice? Because of God's character. Only God is perfect. His perfection demands that we be perfect too. God is glad if we are good but we will never be perfect. Like with a child who offers five cents to pay for a broken window, the father appreciates it, but knows that he himself will have to pay. He is responsible. God's perfection also demands that he fix the ugly world in the midst of his beautiful universe. Jesus' death was the way that God identified with and took responsibility for all the suffering of the world. God understands how we suffer because His Word became flesh and lived with us. If we think we can save ourselves with our own good works, we take from God's glory and make ourselves partners with Him in our salvation. All the glory for our salvation is God's. How to enter paradise? No one goes to paradise apart from the mercy of God. 
God showed us through his prophets that his way is sacrifice, but he provides a substitute. In justice and mercy, God made a way to bring us back to paradise. He came once to earth as the prophesied final perfect sacrifice, Jesus Christ. We will all be judged. How did Abraham and his son receive the mercy of God? Through the Lamb God provided. What would happen if they did not accept the Lamb? The son would die. What will happen to us if we do not accept Jesus, God's provision? We too will die. To receive God's way of mercy, confess your sins and believe God took your place through Jesus. Your new life with God then starts. Pray and read the Bible daily. Fellowship with others who believe Jesus is the Savior. Love everyone and share the good news of forgiveness through Him.